back to another exciting time of Bethel Groups. We're so glad that you are here. We hope you've enjoyed some food, and now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty. Part of Bethel Groups is having fun. We want to share life experiences with each other. We want to learn about who the other people are. So take a moment and go around the circle. We're in a series right now called Kingdom. We're talking about every kingdom has a castle. So go around the circle and share what's the largest man-made structure that you have ever seen. I lived in New York. I've been to the top of the Empire State Building. I've seen the Statue of Liberty. I've been to a real castle in England. I went to Paris uh, when I was in high school and saw the Eiffel Tower. What's one of the places that you've been to see the largest thing? Could be a baseball stadium. What's the biggest structure that you've ever seen? Share that story now. Great job. So fun to hear those places that people have been and to see things that people have experienced. We're talking about the kingdom. We, uh, we're talking about Ezekiel this morning in our sermon. So take your Bible out, have somebody in your group read Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 6 and 7. Just two verses. Somebody be bold. Jump out there. Get the phone out. Get the Bible out. Let's read God's word and remember what we were talking about this morning. Fantastic. Verse 6 talks about blowing the horn and alerting the rest of the kingdom, that enemy, that darkness is coming. The sword is coming for the kingdom. Hey, let's take a second and rate ourselves. Let's give us a watchman report card. How are you doing at blowing the horn, at letting people know, hey, sin is encroaching on your life. Darkness is coming. How are we doing ministering to each other as kingdom citizens, as people of the kingdom? How are you doing in your post positioned by the king, Jesus, on the wall. Are you watching out? Is darkness sneaking up? Are you paying attention? Are you not paying attention? How's it going watching out for others and watching out for yourself? Give yourself a grade, one to 10. How you doing? It's tough to be honest. It's tough to say, hey, I'm really kind of being a four out of 10. You know, sometimes when we respond in the midst of calamity or when we look into somebody else's life to be that watchman on the wall for our brother or sister, sometimes we don't respond in the best way. Sometimes we respond too quickly. Sometimes we respond too loudly or inappropriately. Go around the circle, share a time where maybe you should have responded and you didn't in the life of somebody else? Or maybe you responded inappropriately and what would have most honored the king in how you should have conducted yourself? Let's talk about those things. What would have been the best way to minister to your brother, to your sister, in the time when the enemy is crouching in? Man, great job. It's so nice to get to be transparent with each other. That's what we're here to do. We're here to grow and we're here to learn. Let's take a minute and get out that piece of paper or open the text or email that Scott sent and let's go into the deep dive. Let's really take a few minutes and let these things deeply penetrate our heart that we may wrestle with them, that we may think about them and take them in, that it would change us the rest of the week. Let's take a minute and deep dive together. Honestly, this is one of my favorite times of small group, and this is the time where we break up into prayer. We offer many different ways to do this. You can just stay together this time and go around the circle and share these prayer requests, or you could break into men's groups and women's groups. It's always good to set a time limit. A lot of people like to pray a lot longer than other people. Uh, when my wife and I pray together in the morning, she says, do you want me to pray? Because that means that uh, our coffee won't get cold. So uh, <laughs> set a time frame where you guys will come back together and, uh, and then be dismissed. Thank you for coming to small groups. We're so glad that you're involved. Take a minute and be transparent. Men's group, ladies group, all together. Do you, boo. We'll see you next time.